Hi, this is Jonathan from Cinch. In this video, we will cover the basics of Communication Panel in Cinch Contact Pro. Communication Panel is the agent user interface for handling your customer conversations. It's a browser-based application, so you can freely resize the window to take up for as much or as little of the screen as you want. You can also use the browser controls to zoom in or zoom out. The agent is currently set to not ready. This means our routing engine won't actively push them conversations. You can set yourself to ready like this. You can also set your presence profile. Here, we are available, which is the default. You can also set another presence profile, such as lunch or meeting. Your administrator defines which queues you are assigned to. A queue could represent a channel such as voice or chat. Or you can have specific topic for each queue, such as sales and support queues. Typically, you have the rights to log yourself into and out of the queues. This is done with a checkbox just to the left of the queue name. You also get visibility to the waiting conversations and agents. Here we see how many conversations are waiting per queue, what is the longest queuing time, and how many agents are in each queue. You can add a filter to show or hide queues. For example, we can add a filter to only show the queues we're currently serving in. You can also easily remove the filter to show all the queues again. Each agent can check their own statistics for the day. Here you see how long you've been working, ready, not ready, and paused. You can also see how many conversations you've handled since the start of the day. The settings area has some different personalization options for you. Let's take a look at some of them, starting with audio settings. Here you can decide what tones you want to be played, depending on whether it's a chat, a call, or some other conversation type. Just select which one you want from the drop-down, and you can play it. You can change your user interface language to whatever suits you best. You can also change the user interface look and feel by selecting a different theme. We can also change our password. Let's save those settings now. In this search bar, we can check the availability of queues or contact centre users. So if you have a conversation with a customer ongoing and you need some help, you can search for other colleagues. You can see if they are available and get options to call them, transfer or consult based on your need. The plus button here allows you to create a new conversation. For example, you might want to send an SMS to a customer, create a new email, a WhatsApp or a callback request. By default, you are pushed the conversations by the routing engine. However, you can also use the pick list here you see a list of the digital conversations which are currently waiting. So for example, SMSs, WhatsApps, or emails, which are waiting in the queue. You can then go through each of these, you can read in advance, and if it's something which you think you can handle, you can pick it for yourself. We can also go back to the pick list and pick another conversation. So now we've got two conversations which are ongoing. The dial pad allows you to make outbound calls. Or, if you've got an ongoing call, you can type in the number to transfer to. Within the contact centre, we have a directory. This can be used to find your colleague's information. Or, we can also add customer information here too. You can use the search bar at the top to find the entries. So here we see the customer, and if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see all the conversations we've had with them. Finally, conversation history. You can use this to see all of the conversations you've handled since the start of the day. This is useful if you want to read the message you've sent or perhaps call back the customer. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.